I just came from the movie theaters and I watched the movie titled Reagan. It was all about President Reagan's life before he was president and after. I highly recommend this movie. It is so powerful, so moving, so inspirational. I knew nothing about President Reagan. Sadly, I was in my 20s and I had no interest in politics. I just assumed, like maybe many of us, that our government is doing their job and taking care of we the people. Little did I know, <laughs> until President Trump, Paul and I watch almost every single President Trump rally on television, even to this day. And I learned so much about how the government is running our lives, ruining our lives, running our money, sending millions and millions of dollars to other countries while letting this country go to shit. Closing all the pipelines, closing the coal mines, whatever they're closing, and making things very expensive um, for us, not taking care of us at all. Not taking care of our country like it should be taken care of. And President Trump has proven over and over again especially when our government tried to shoot him and he stood up. President Trump has so much money he could lay right now on any beach, probably buy an island and, and live the rest of his life enjoying his family. But yet every day he shows up day after day fighting for we the people. He loves this country. He loves God and he wants to do what is right for the people. He wants to open these pipelines so that we ourselves can be, you know, um, sufficient in these things instead of buying them from other countries. He doesn't want to send all this money over to other countries for no good reason. I found out from his rally, like China, when they sell things in our country, they have to pay nothing. But when we sell things in their country, they charge us. Things like that, Mexico, it's unbelievable. I, I knew none of this stuff. And it's so eye-opening. Honestly, I felt and feel betrayed by our own government, not taking care of us like they're supposed to. We have so many needs in this country. They have no right sending our money over into all these. Anyway, you know what? I got to stop there because I can rant and rave about that all day. Watch the movie if you're led to. God is going to rescue this country. This country was founded by Christians, they, they made a covenant with God. They gave this country to God. God is not going to let this country go to the enemy. And it's going to happen soon. So be patient. Watch the movie if you're led to. If you're on the other side, I'm sorry. You, you, you know, I, I believe you, you're deceived. And I pray your eyes will be opened one day. And if they're not, well, you, it's a free country, right? Thank God for that. For now, it is still a free country. And if God doesn't intervene, it will no longer be free. But I know he is, and I can't wait. So God bless this country, and God bless the people.